And welcome back. Well, the 16th annual Milwaukee River Challenge is a rowing regatta that takes place downtown on both the Milwaukee and the Menominee Rivers. The event brings 900 athletes from all over the Midwest, including members of the U.S. national team who recently returned from Rio de Janeiro. We are thrilled to welcome the Milwaukee River Challenge race director, Alyssa Remington, along with Olympians Grace Lance and Vic, Vicky Opitz from the U.S. national team. Thanks for being here, you yeah. guys. Wow. Thank I, you for having us. Can I just say I love your warm-up suits. I, I yeah. watched that through the is. entire Rio nice Olympics. Swag. They look great. That's really awesome. <laughs> I love it. Now, both of you are grads from Wisconsin. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. So how did you even get into rowing? I mean, this is, you were walk-ons as freshmen into the rowing team. Mm -hmm. And of course, now you're a national team in Olympics. But how did it start? For me, it started when I went to my freshman orientation for Wisconsin. I didn't know anything about rowing until I had already signed up for my summer classes, or no for my classes in summer. And there's an extracurricular fair where they have different clubs and Greek life and all the different things you can do outside of class in a room. And the rowing coaches stand kitty corner from the entrance so they can scan the room for the tallest people. <laughs> and Is being <laughs> tall a, a perk to it's rowing? Helpful. It's helpful. It's definitely helpful. Yeah. Okay. And so they caught me there and they're like, you could be an Olympian because it's the fact that Wisconsin throws out that they've always had a, an alum in, mm -hmm. you know, in the Olympics since like the 60s. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hmm. oh, that's really cool. But they were just saying that. But I think I took them pretty seriously. Yeah. <laughs> and then do you come from a rowing family? I do, yeah. My grandfather coached for a number of years at Wisconsin, and I grew up with parents that both rowed in college at UW. So I heard, you know, a lot of stories about how hard it is, but also just the, you know, amazing amount of friends you meet mm -hmm. and mm. just what a wonderful experience it can yeah. be. Yeah. With our short seasons and with such mm -hmm. a long winter, Wisconsin, how did you practice? Year um, round. So you can train for rowing both indoors and outdoors. Mm -hmm. So obviously. On a the, machine? On a machine. Correct. So the indoor part would be on a rowing machine, or we call it an erg. Mm -hmm. And so we're very familiar with that machine. We've spent many, many hours <laughs> on that <laughs> machine. <laughs> How do you yeah. keep yourself like motivated? Because yeah. I'll be like in the gym and I see people on those. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, I don't want to do the TV. You got to have some you good music, a, some good yeah, beat okay. music to keep it going. <laughs> Maybe some visualizing or like having a structured workout yeah. where yeah. you have a goal or it's like for a certain time or certain distance. Mm -hmm. The setup is really important. You just don't go for an hour and a half straight. Well, what's the key to being good as a team in rowing? Is it that you're all um, similar heights or, you know, is it that you're synchronized? Is that mentally you're on the same page? What's the key as a team? I would say mentally. I mean, yeah. I think we come from a sport that, yes, it does help to be tall, but mm -hmm. is every, if everyone has the same desire, passion, and willing to go 100%, yeah. I mean, you can put a boat together with anybody. Yeah. yeah. So. Huh. What's the difference of rowing on a boat for the national team or the Olympics? Right. Um, as far as feel or yeah, um, Does the it's kind of the same. Just... To me, I felt like the Olympics was the same as a world championship, except for when you were done, then you could go to all these other events. Because we've mm -hmm. raced with each other in different combinations so many times, and a lot of the people in the field were familiar with. So we were seeing a lot of familiar faces. Mm -hmm. There's just more cameras and... Yeah. You know, yeah, it's the kind Olympics. of a reunion. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Alyssa, how do you train a team for the Olympics? How do you, how do you get them ready? You know, that's, I am not the person to ask for that. <laughs> I work with high school students. Right. Uh, yeah, not necessarily with, with national teamers. But, yeah, I think it's just, like they said, getting everybody on the same page, you know, maintaining the, the competitive spirit and, uh, and then just giving them the workouts that are going to get them there physically. So do you provide some of the mental stimulation? To, like, you know, do you ever, when you're working with people, also talk about, you know, this is the, the mentality that you have to have to be in this kind of sport? Yeah, I think so. You don't say it so directly. Mm -hmm. I think you say it in, in your actions and yeah. how you interact with the, with the team and then how you select the boats and the athletes, too, says a lot um, about where people should be mentally. So. Hmm. And that's great, especially for the kids, mm -hmm. you know? Now, tomorrow you've got the Milwaukee River Challenge. Yes. Yeah. 16th annual? 16th annual. Wow, that's great. congratulations. Yes. How Thank many you. people are going to turn out and tell us more about it? Yeah, we're going to be seeing about 900 athletes. They are from all over the Midwest. They come from Indiana, Chicago, Madison, Minneapolis. Um, about 150 different boats that are going to be competing in four different events on both the Menominee and the Milwaukee River. Uh, it takes place from 9 to 2, and we've always had great weather. <laughs> it's a beautiful like day it. in Milwaukee. Um, yeah, we're just we're excited. It continues to grow. We have a very challenging river uh, with 18 bridges. It's very narrow. There's a strong current. Um, you don't see that in many uh, race locations. So. In addition, we have the Riverwalk, which provides great locations Viewing. for spectators. Yes. Good, and good. And you, you can hear what the coxswain is saying. So we've been talking about the rowers. What is the coxswain? Is that the lead? Y no. The, yeah, I guess in a way you could say it's a lead. Yeah. Maybe as rowers we wouldn't say they're the lead. But they're the... <laughs> 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 very, 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 very,
the horses. Right. They're yeah. like the jockey, I guess. They're, yeah, okay. they're exactly. They're the okay. jockey. They're the little person who sits in the front, and they look forward and steer the boat and then provide motivation. So they have a microphone oh. on. They're, you know, telling you. Because as a rower, your job is just to row. You mm -hmm. get in. You pull as hard as you can. You row. The coxswain does the strategy. You can't really see it in the in the No, because I was like, they're low. rowing, yeah. too? No, no, they're down no. low. Oh. They're in the back. Yeah, they have yeah. little cables to you steer away. I didn't know that. No, yeah. I, yeah. I just thought they held, like, the PA system no, and, like, no, yelled no, no. at you to go no, faster. No, they're mic'd up and they yeah. have is a rudder there control. Is there a rudder yeah. control? Yeah. Okay. And this yeah. is called a head race where you go one at a time and then you try to uh, chase down the boats in front of you and keep the boats behind you from catching you. So it's really a coxswain's race where they're steering, they're mm -hmm. strategizing, and this is all about them tomorrow. Interesting. And making sure that they get their boat across the line first. I've yeah. never been so fascinated by rowing. This was really fun to chat with you guys. I want to learn more and come out and see it. And people can do the same thing because it's going on tomorrow, Saturday the 17th. It's the 16th annual. It's right along the, the Menominee and the Milwaukee Rivers. You can learn more by going to MilwaukeeRiverChallenge.com to find out more. But go and spectate and watch it. Learn a little bit more about rowing before you show up. Because now, otherwise I would have been like, who's that little person? Yeah. What are now they doing? All the now they can tell their family what's yeah. happening. Exactly. Thanks for being here. Congratulations yeah, thank you on for the Pleasure having you here.